So hello everyone, welcome to Kentex Synchro System Test 4. The Kentex Synchro, as you can tell, is now back on the demo board and now running a Hochiki protocol because um, this panel supports two protocols, Hochiki and Apollo and you can change between them and same with the advanced as well, you can do that as well uh, which is quite good. So as you can see, I've only got a few Hochiki devices set up which I'll uh, give you a show around and see what we got. So here's the Kentex Synchro panel, obviously it's in battery fault because I don't have batteries for this. So yeah. Then um, here we have a uh, two ALG EN photoelectric smoke detectors as you can tell. And the sound base here is a YBO BSP2 uh, white, so it's white flash. And here we've got just a conventional KC cool point which is wired into the input of the panel at the moment so I will get some more Hochiki devices but that's kind of what I've got at the moment so yeah and also the demo board as you can see it's new as well actually it's not new I just added this paper on it so I think it looks quite nice and okay so we're going to give this cool point a test I'm just going to press it because I think it'll be just easier there we go And yeah, there we have it. So yeah, it's white flash, it's a white VAD. I cannot change the tone on it because without the software, so I just thought so that that's one thing with Kentec is a bit annoying. But yeah, there it is flashing. Um, it's a white VAD, which is quite nice. So yeah, now let's give the panel a reset. So yeah, it's just wired into the CNT input of the panel. Let's go and reset the cool point. And there we go. Okay, so now for the detectors, we're going to give the uh, the one that's on the um, YBO BSB2 on here, which is the top left corner, so yeah. There we go. That was ridiculously quick for some reason, and the sound sounder started off quite loud compared to when I did the call point. It had... A much softer start which was kind of funny so yeah I'm new to this protocol so just getting used to things and I think this how you change the sensitivity of the detectors I think it's like percentage per meter or something I think that's I can't remember but yeah I'm just gonna remove this with the base <laughs> and there we go Okay, so now for the other um, ALG EN. Do let me know in the comments what they actually are, because the panel sees it as an ALG E, but I think they're EN. I might be wrong though, so yeah, just don't want to re trigger the other one, so I'm just going to use a little and just see how long it takes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Again, that was quite loud, so it does stuff. Very loud for some reason. So the analog readings as well, that actually go higher. Unlike Apollo, which is only 127, it actually goes because it's currently on 255. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but 255. There we go. And if we just, there we go. It's now 183. And I think the default one or the, 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 the value it should be, I think, is around 60-something, so it's a lot. The re the resolution of the the, the, the values are, are more, so, yeah. All right, so it's 66 now. reset that that's fine okay so um i hope you enjoyed this test and um with the new um demo board stuff and yeah and i hope to see you in another video guys so goodbye